Hello and welcome to One CNC. In this video, I'm very excited to demonstrate some of the new features of One CNC XR8. Now, to begin with, One CNC XR8 is going to load part files much faster than previous versions. This is extremely beneficial, especially when working with part files with larger file sizes. Another big advantage of One CNC XR8 is that it provides the latest in third party CAD loaders. For example, SOLIDWORKS SLD PRT files, SAT files, STEP files, IGES, DXF, and many, many more. One CNC XR8 also provides advancements in detailing and part modeling. For example, creating fillets. Fillets can now be applied to a wider range of complex geometry. Now let's take a look at some powerful new additions that One CNC XR8 has provided in regards to verification and detailing. In this example, you can see we have a solid model. There's absolutely no wireframe geometry. With One CNC XR8, we can instantly start verifying edges. If I come down here and select our verification tools, I can take my cursor and I can start snapping on edges and instantly get the information regarding that edge in the lower right hand corner. Again, as stated, there's no need for wireframe geometry. It doesn't matter what Z level or what construction plane the edges are, one CNC diligently and accurately provides information in the lower right hand corner. Another advantage to this is detailing. You now have the ability to create 3D detailing without wireframe geometry. I can head directly to dimensions. Let's go to horizontal dimensions. And I'm going to select this edge right here and let's select this edge right here and even though there's no wireframe geometry I can instantly start creating dimensions. Let's grab this edge for a vertical dimension that edge right there we're gonna pull that right over there. Very very nice. Let's make one more. Let's head over here to our radius dimension we're gonna grab that edge there pull it out right about there that looks good and now we can rotate that around. So again all those dimensions were created without any wireframe geometry. Those were created directly on the edges provided by the solid model. To take this a step further, we can easily create a construction plane on any face. In fact, let's create a construction plane right here. Let's change our view to that plane. That looks great. And now we can continue adding dimensions, but this time we're adding dimensions in 3D. Let's grab both those edges. We'll pull that up just like that. That looks good. And we'll come down and rotate that around. And there you go. You can see we can quickly create 3D dimensions using one CNC XR8. Very, very powerful. To improve part modeling efficiency, one CNC XR8 has added a brand new characteristic to the construction plane menu. Let me demonstrate. Let's open up the construction plane menu. And within one CNC XR8, we can perform as many construction plane commands as we'd like without the construction plane menu closing down. Now, making things much more efficient, you can open up the construction plane menu, perform as many commands as you'd like, and then when you're finished, close the menu down. A great new feature provided by One CNC XR8. Now let's take a look at some of the new features provided by One CNC XR8 Cam. Let's begin with One CNC milling, and let's start with high-speed pocketing. I'm going to take my cursor over to the command manager, select stock tool pass, high-speed pocketing. I'm going to quickly select both pockets that I'd like to apply toolpath to. And within this first dialog box, we can see one of the brand new features of One CNC XR8. This new feature is the name parameter. This gives us the very powerful ability to name our machining operation anything that we'd like. I'm going to keep it simple and call it mill pocketing two pockets. This simply means that after I execute the machining operation, when the name gets stored over here within the NC manager, it's going to have this custom name. This versatile new feature is available within all one CNC XR8 machining disciplines, mill, lathe, wire, and profiler. Let's go ahead and click next. Now within this dialog box, we have the ability to set up all of our clearance parameters and have dynamic feedback to verify all of our entries. Let's go ahead and click next. Now we're going to take a look at one of the most exciting new features of One CNC XR8, and that's the ability to use two completely different machining strategies when machining a pocket. In this example, you can see I'm using high speed close to rough the pocket. Now let's say I want to take a finish pass on the floor of the pocket. So I'm going to select last cut, and I'm going to tell One CNC that I want to take 10 thousandths for the finish pass. But notice now we have the ability the very powerful ability to select a different machining strategy 
for the finishing of the floor of the pocket. Here I'm going to say high speed zigzag and of course we can override the speeds and feeds and type in whatever we'd like. I'm going to up the feed rate to 30 inches a minute and I'm going to up the RPM to 3700 RPM. Very very powerful, very nice, all brand new within one CNC XR8. Let's go ahead and click next. Now we're going to take a look at another powerful new feature of one CNC XR8. This is the Advanced Pathing Adjustments parameter. You're going to find this parameter available in many of the one CNC XR8 machining operations. Now in this example, we have the ability to use arc optimization. What arc optimization is going to do is, when possible, it's going to optimize arc moves, providing excellent finish and a reduced amount of CNC code. Let's go ahead and quickly click Next. Now we're looking at the parameters for our pocket operation. I'm going to tell one CNC to take 625 thousandths step to cut, and why don't we leave 10 thousandths on the walls of the pocket? Let's click Next, and this brings us to another very powerful new feature of one CNC XR8, and that's the ability to use cutter comp and the diameter of the tool set out at the control. Let me quickly demonstrate. Let's head up here to finishing. I'm going to click bottom only and under compensation notice now that with XR8 there's a new parameter called at control. That simply means that at the control you can now use the diameter of the tool. Very powerful and very versatile provided by 1CNC XR8. Now let's take a look at another new feature. When applying toolpath to multiple pockets 1CNC XR8 will save you time by providing the new ability to select all the pockets all at once. Let me give you an example. I'm going to hit Control A on the keyboard to select all the pockets, head over to the Command Manager, select my pocket operation. All I need to do now is fill out the parameters and execute the command. Another easy to use, time saving feature provided by 1CNC XR8. 1CNC XR8 provides major advancements in regards to collision checking for all pocket operations. Let's demonstrate with some traditional pocketing. We'll head over to the Command Manager. We'll select our pocketing operation. All of our parameters look great for our tooling information. Let's click Next on that. Our clearances look great. We'll click Next. Again, we're using traditional pocketing for this example. I should also point out that brand new to 1CNC XR8 is the ability to select an entry position for your traditional pocketing. Very nice. Let's click Next on that. Our rough settings look great. Let's click Next on this. Also new to 1CNC XR8 is the powerful ability to enter the tool diameter at the control when using cutter comp. Let's click Next on this. Now to demonstrate the new 1CNC XR8 collision detection, I've entered some pretty large values for our entry and exit. Let's execute the command and let's digitize our entry point for the pocket operation. Toolpath looks great and let's take a look now at the results of the collision detection. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. And as you can see, here are those large values for our entry and exit. But what I want to point out is that the new 1CNC XRA collision detection has made sure that all of these entry and exit points do not collide with any of the geometry. A very good example of the powerful new collision detection provided by 1CNC XR8. 1CNC XR8 now expands on the capability of toolpath that incorporates taper tools. Taper tools are easily defined by setting the desired taper angle as well as an optional tip radius. Taper tool toolpath can be applied to wireframe geometry, solids, and surfaces. This provides for robust 2.5 axis, 3 axis, 4 axis, and 5 axis toolpaths. Another great example of 1CNC extending toolpath capability while maintaining the highest in quality surface finish. 1CNC XR8 also provides additional capability in regards to its already powerful suite of 3-axis toolpaths. For example, area machining and constant offset machining have been updated to accommodate more complex types of geometry. There's also a new, very powerful, 3-axis finishing toolpath called Valley Machining. Let me demonstrate. The new 1CNC XR8 Valley Machining provides the ability to apply toolpath to areas of the geometry that form an inner fillet or a sharp intersection. For example, if you take a look at this pocket, at the bottom of the pocket, there's a fillet that runs all the way around. You'll also notice two sharp intersections on both sides of the cylindrical feature. Well, Valley Machining is perfect for this. It'll apply efficient toolpath to machine all those areas. What's also very powerful is that you can use any size ball nose or bull nose tool to apply the toolpath. The new 1CNC XR8 Valley Machining is a very powerful addition to 1CNC.
Now let's take a look at some of the new features of 1CNC XR8 Turning. 1CNC Turning has received many advancements in regards to functionality, ease of use, and versatility. Let's first take a look at Toolpath and Simulation. 1CNC XR8 properly displays tool holder and insert configuration for both left and right hand tools. Display attributes for both tool holder and insert are easily modified. 1CNC XR8 also provides a new 2D stock model simulation. This powerful new feature provides 2D toolpath simulation incorporating user-defined stock. The two-dimensional stock shape is provided via the stock solid model. 1CNC XR8 also provides a new default 2D view when previewing toolpath. Regardless of part orientation, the new preview will always default to a 2D view, but then easily modified if necessary. Now let's take a look at some of the new toolpath advancements provided by 1CNC XR8. Let's begin by taking a look at the powerful new Smart Rough feature. The new Smart Rough feature provides the ability to reduce air cuts by recognizing stock boundaries. This is extremely beneficial when working with castings and forgings. Simply create your stock geometry, then activate the new Smart Rough feature within the machining operation. A very efficient and easy way to reduce toolpath. Additional features to the roughing operation include the following. New toolpath direction control, providing the ability to easily change the toolpath direction right inside the machining operation. New powerful cut control parameters, including equal cut amount, retract clearance, and order. By activating equal cut amount, 1CNC XR8 will provide equal depths of cut. This is done by taking an average of your cut amount. The new retract clearance parameters provide the ability to further adjust the properties of your rough cuts. The new 1CNC overlap feature provides a smooth finish when performing a roughing operation. This is accomplished by overlapping each previous depth of cut by just the right amount. The new XR8 order parameter provides the ability to specify a depth first or breadth first cut. There's also a new finish parameter that provides the ability to perform a finish pass. Powerful new roughing capabilities provided by 1CNC XR8. Let's quickly take a look now at some of the general parameters provided by 1CNC XR8. For example, all the machining operations provided within 1CNC XR8 are going to include the new name parameter, giving you the ability to name the machining operation. Machining operations such as rough, profile, bore, and groove will include the new cut direction control where you can specify the direction of cut right inside the machining operation. Another very nice addition to 1CNC XR8 is the addition of the verification arrow available within your entry options dialog box. This red arrow verifies the direction of cut you've set before you execute the command. Now let's take a look at the new features provided by 1CNC XR8 Bore Roughing and Bore Finishing. 1CNC Bore Roughing provides the exact same powerful features available within the new 1CNC XR8 Roughing, including the new Direction Control, Smart Roughing, new parameters for cut control, including equal cut amount, retract distance, order. You also have the ability to specify an optional finish pass. 1CNC XR8 Bore Finishing also provides new, innovative, and time-saving features. Let's take a look. New features including Smart Finish, Direction Control, two new options for cutter compensation, and a brand new retract clearance parameter available within Cut Control. 1CNC XR8 also provides major advancements in regards to both lathe groove roughing and lathe groove finishing. For example, Lathe Groove Roughing now provides brand new Groove Direction Control. Toolpath can be set in Positive Direction, Negative Direction, and also Bi-Directional. Turn Grooving has also been advanced by adding a new Feed Rate Adjustment. Peck Grooving has also been updated to include Positive, Negative, and Bi-Directional Toolpath Direction. Taking a look at the new 1CNC XR8 Groove Finishing, we can see that a new parameter has been added to adjust the Plunge Feed Rate. New features have also been added to increase versatility within the 1CNC XR8 parting operation, including new secondary feed, secondary distance, and back-off amount parameters. Adding to the extensive set of new features, 1CNC XR8 also provides an extended tool library, supporting all common tool types, including ISCAR and Sandvik. Also note that 1CNC XR8 provides the very powerful ability to use tools mounted at any angle. In this example, you can see we're roughing and finishing a groove with a tool mounted at 45 degrees. 
Thank you for taking a look at some of the new, powerful 1CNC XR8 features. Please contact if we can be of assistance, and we look forward to hearing back from you.